Thank you, Mr. Chairman and uh, gentlemen. Good morning. Thanks for being here. If the chairman would give me just 45 seconds of latitude from the budget, I, I would like to thank you, Secretary, and, and Governor Corbett for your, for your personal commitments to one-to-one -one evidence based mentoring. It wasn't but an hour after this governor got sworn in that his first stop as governor was to the Big Brothers Big Sisters chapter of, uh, of this county that we're in, of Dauphin County, and uh, clearly your department uh, has made life-changing investments in 2013 and 2014 budget. Uh, some of the initiatives you mentioned. Um, last year you made a statement, Mr. Secretary, that stuck with me that, and alluded to it today. If I may paraphrase those statements, you said, quote, there was nothing more effective on reducing recidivism than mentoring, one-to-one -one evidence based mentoring. And we also talked about the initial investment when a kid is in their, you know, adolescent years and their teens, the front end investment to with mentoring helps to hopefully stop them from going to prison. I, I ask for your continued commitment obviously in, in the next budget year and if there's anything I could do to assist you in that, I, I would I would be honored to do that. And once again thank you and thank you to Governor Corbett for his uh, his commitment on that on that idea. I do have a little bit of concern from uh, the description of the healthy PA uh, program as it relates to the corrections department. And this is a description that I'm getting from staff. It, it says that we would be transferring recipients into private coverage options and pharmaceutical rebates. I'm assuming what that means is we're taking inmates and we're putting them on a private insurance through the Affordable Care Act. Is that is that accurate? Inmates while they're incarcerated, no. No. Okay, so can you just can you just tell me the, the healthy PA program as it relates to how the savings are going to come about uh, that you just mentioned oh, in the, the previous part question? I was talking about. So in 2011, uh, the General Assembly passes Act 22. And what that did was that allowed us to, what, inmates who are sent out for outside care, there's two levels that they're sent out for outside care, outpatient care and overnight. So um, when they're sent out, we passed legislation that allowed us to to uh, get charged Medicaid rates and Medicare rates. So, and then we draw down a federal matching from that right now at a 53% level. Healthy PA would allow us to draw that federal matching at a 100% level. That's the only uh, implication as far as incarceration proper at the state level. But so the idea that that we're when we're saying we're putting on on private coverage, we're not taking inmates and. And, and signing them up for, for individual uh, um, plans through the Affordable Care Act. Not while they're incarcerated, no. Well, not while they're incarcerated, okay. And if I, I may, you know, I'm guilty of this too um, during this process that so often we, we focus on the line items and we're all trying to maximize efficiency. And we sometimes forget about the people that are affected by those line items. And a lot of the, the, the conversation today is about the inmates in, in the facilities, but I think we'd all be remiss if we, if we didn't pay attention to those that keep themselves safe, their colleagues safe, and the inmates safe 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days a year. Uh, while we're trying to maximize efficiency, uh, I think it's important to thank those men and women that truly risk their lives every day. We hear about the unfortunate crashes, and we don't hear about the landings enough. And uh, those, those employees, those correction offers you, you, you have, do a tremendous job, and uh, I'm as guilty as anyone to try to maximize those line items. Um, while the Attorney General testified yesterday she's doing a great job locking up bad guys, and I think that's wonderful, your folks also have the responsibility of, of keeping everybody safe, and, and I don't think they get enough credit. So thank you, Mr. Secretary, and thank you, Mr. Chairman.